okay, we have this word problem. The bones of a newly discovered dinosaur weigh 170 pounds and measure 9 feet. Wow, it's big, with a 6-inch claw on one toe of each hind foot. That says that the age of the dinosaur was estimated using a radioactive substance dating uh, rocks surrounding the bones, and it wants us to complete parts A and B. So let's go ahead and carefully read through it. The radioactive substance decays exponentially with a half-life of 1.38 billion years. So what that basically means uh, is that every 1.38 billion years, half of it goes away. So if you start with 10, after 1.38 billion years, you have 5. Then after another 1.38 billion years, you have 2.5. So it just keeps get, it gets cut in half every 1.38 billion years. That's called the half-life. Use the fact that after 1.38 billion years, a given amount of the substance will have decayed to half. Yep. And they give us this, this formula here. So I'm going to go ahead and write the formula down. So this is A equals A sub 0 E to the negative 0.50228T. Yeah, so use the fact we'll have decay to half to show that the decay model, right? This is the decay model. This is how much you have left after T years, how much of the radioactive substance is left after T years. To show that the decay model is this, find the decay rate for the substance. So basically they're giving us this A equals A sub 0 E to the KT. Okay? And uh, if you plug in the, the half-life into this formula here, if you plug in T, 1.38, well this is how much you have after T years. But after 1.38 years, you should have half of what you started with. So this should be equal to half of A sub 0. Yep. So check answer. Right, and again, this tells you how much you have after 1.38 years. But after 1.38 years, you should have half of what you start with. The initial amount, a sub 0, is what you start with. So it's equal to half. Then it says divide both sides by a sub 0. Well, when you do that, the a sub 0s will cancel. So you'll just get 1 over 2. So check answer. Then it says take the natural log of both sides. So on the left-hand side, we'll get the natural log of 1 half. When you take the natural log here on the right-hand side, um, the E will cancel, and so you'll, ju you'll just be left with 1.38K. And then it says solve for K. So I'm going to write this down. So to solve for K, so we have ln 1 half equals 1.38K. So we just have to divide by 1.38. So divide by 1.38. So k is equal to approximately, it looks like it wants five decimals. So I'll type this into my calculator. So ln 1 half divided by 1.38. So negative 0.5, looks like negative 0 0.50228, right? Because it's five decimals. Wow, it's a lot of decimals. So it's an interesting problem because they're guiding us through the steps. Normally, um, you know, these steps you'd have to do on your own. So it's kind of nice that they do guide us through. It makes it a little bit easier. Uh, so let's click check answer. Good stuff. Part B. All right. Analysis of the rocks surrounding the dinosaur bones indicated that 94.6% of the original amount of the substance is still present. Okay. So let A be 94.6% of the original amount in the model to estimate the age of the bones. Right. So let me explain this. So this formula tells us how much we have after t years. So this right here is how much we have, this right-hand side, but that's also equal to the left-hand side. So this is how much we have after t years. We know we have 94.6% of the original amount. So what you do is you set a to 0.946 of the original amount. That's why you multiply. Of means multiply. I mean, they, they tell you to do it in the problem, but it's always better to, to understand. And then here's a sub 0, e to the negative 0 0.50228t. As before, we'll divide by this. So we have 0 0.946. It's a very similar process to what we just did. e to the negative 0 0.50228t. And to get rid of the, um, the, the e, we take the natural log, 0 0.946. And then here it's natural log e to the negative 0 0.50228t. So we have ln 
0.946. The ln and the e cancel, so we have negative 0.50228t. And the last thing to do is divide by um, this number here, this negative 0.50228 negative 0.50228. So t is approximately equal to, and it wants four decimals. This is how old the dinosaur bones will be, ln 0.946. And it's in billions of years, apparently. That's what it said originally, I believe. Divided by uh, negative 0.50228. OK, uh, that looks a little bit weird. Let me just double check here. Ln 0.946 divided by negative point. Yep, I got 0.1105. Okay, so I'm going to type that in. It's a decimal, so it's a little bit weird, but 0 0.1105. Let's check it, and it's correct. So I thought it'd be wrong. I thought we'd get like 1 billion years or something, but it's just 0 0.1105 billion. So um, it's like a fraction of a billion, which is still a really long time. So. I hope this video has been helpful.